Hello guys and welcome back to another video of Architects 3DP. This is the 14th episode of the Build the Best DIY 3D Printer series. In the last episode, we prepared and assembled the power supply, and today we are going to install it into the rest of the 3D printer, as well as making the cable management, getting at the end of the video this nice result. As you may have seen in the last video, assembling the power supply is not easy, but finally we got it done, and today we are going to install it in place. Now I'm going to show you the components that we'll need to build this part of the printer. But before starting, be sure to subscribe and to ring that bell to be notified when cool stuff is uploaded. If you do it, you will help me creating new content and growing the channel to reach more special viewers like you. Alright, so the first part that we'll need to start with the build of this episode are the next. 2x25mm M3 bolts, 2x M3NN nylon nuts, some small zip ties, and the power plug for our controller board that is the RAMS 1.4. Ok, so we're going to start by placing the power supply assembly in this position and pass the cables from behind the Y axis of the 3D printer assembly. It will be mounted in this position, so we'll put it in place and now we're going to use 2x25mm M3 bolts to attach it in place, together with two M3NN nylon nuts that we will insert in the embedded gaps on the bottom. So first we'll insert the two screws with our fingers and we will tighten them until we see them from the other side using a screwdriver. Just a bit more, and yeah, that's ok. Now we'll flip the 3D printer to have a better look where the nylon nuts will be installed, and we'll also take advantage of this position to run the power cables next to the bottom of the frame. So once they are in place, we'll use a couple small zip ties and we will insert them through the holes in the frame, attaching the cables while keeping the build tight and organized. Once done, we'll go back to the screws of the power supply and we'll now insert the two M3 nylon nuts from the bottom, tightening the screws from the other side with a screwdriver. Here we have one, and now we're going for the second one. Here we go! We can now flip the 3D printer assembly back in its original position and we'll put a little bit more pressure on the screws holding the power supply as you can see here. Ok, so finally, we're going to guide the cables to where they will be connected to the motherboard of the 3D printer that we will install in the next episode, but you can temporarily place to check the lengths. You have to cut the cables more or less like me, and we are going to peel 1cm on the extreme so we will be able to insert them into the connector. Once done, we're going to insert them in each of the holes in this exact same order, from the left to the right, positive, negative, positive and negative. At this point, we'll just need to tighten the screws to keep them in place, and we are done for this very short episode. Finally, I'm going to make a very quick recap of all the components used that are only for regular hardware, the 2x25mm M3 bolts and 2x M3NN nylon nuts. For special hardware, the power supply assembly, the 3D printer assembly and the power socket for the RAMS 1.4. Ok guys, so that has been everything for this short video. Remember that down below in the description of the video, you will find all the links to download the modified STL files that we needed for this video, as well as the links to buy all the necessary components from Amazon through our affiliate links. If you still don't have a 3D printer to print all the 3D printer parts yourself, you can contact me by email at architects3dp at gmail.com and I will try to find you a solution. So be sure to subscribe and to ring that bell to be notified when cool stuff is uploaded. Hit the like button if you liked the video, leave a comment and share this episode so more people will be able to learn with the project. Finally, I just wanted to give a special thanks to all of you and especially to our Patreon supporters for continuing to make this channel possible. If you want to join them and support the channel as well, getting nice rewards and making me super happy, you can do it navigating to patreon.com slash architects through the beat or clicking here in the top right corner. Ok guys, so as always, see you in the next video.